Hello ladies and gents, this is it, the final trial. I am Arlo, I am here playing Pikmin 1 on the GameCube, and I'm now heading into the very last level, the final trial. Uh, I won't be able to do it in one day, but it is the last level, so I'm kind of trying to build it up here, or whatever. Alright, let's do this. There aren't, uh, I don't think there's any guys to kill here. It's just figuring out the environment and just opening the way forward, using all the different skills. I'm pretty sure I can do it in one day. I mean, I think I always do. I'm not sure, though. I can't remember where to start, so I'm just going to grab 33 of each. Why not? Or, you know, more of blue and red than yellow, because why? And 20 yellow. Probably need yellow for bomb rocks anyway. Okay, how are we doing this? How do you do this? I gotta remember, I gotta recall. Okay, so right off the bat, I can grab my blues. Head over here and get this going. While they're building that bridge, I can be finding... I guess I'll just do the one for now. I'll do that pretty quick. While that's happening, I can grab the reds and head over here. Do I walk through with them or do I lead them? Oh, I think. What? That's your fault. Oh, yeah, I do have to, like. How do I get up there? I don't quite remember. You know, it's the only level in the game where you like you don't play as often as the other stuff, so I forget. No, I do it the other way. Yeah, and I lead him with a box, don't I? Oh, he's alive. Thanks. Yeah, that's it. And then I think I'm pretty sure after that they're all gonna fall in the water. If memory serves. Yeah, how am I supposed to do that? They, f they just follow me in when they're done with their task. Uh, very good, very nice. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Yeah, I, uh, mad props for uh, people who do like, you know, no death runs and they do them like super fast and they're crazy. Um, I can't jump up there, so I gotta throw them all. I don't know what the point of that is, but... No, oh, come on. No! The bridge, you stinkies. You stinkers. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, so then I go over here. I gotta put yellows there and lead them up and around. I think I can't get up there. Oh, wait, how do I do this? I gotta break through, but before I can... Oh, yeah, I remember, oh yeah, I remember something like this. You gotta like, oh, I hate transferring over water. It's a pain in the butt. You gotta do it. Uh, yes. Very good. Very nice. That is my preferred method, of, for sure. Okay. And they designed some of this stuff just like, <laughs> just to be aggravating. I gotta get him back that way, too. Yeah? Oops. Well, he's gonna drop that. Okay, that sucks. 
Uh, yeah, bomb rocks. Can't exactly do a water method with those. Please don't fall into the water. Remember, you throw them, so you gotta bump them. And that might mean bumping them into the water. Okay. Okay. And we're okay. I really hope that's enough bomb rocks. Come on. There you go. Okay, I think we're doing okay. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> At least the other ones are smart enough to run. Oh, uh, no they're not. Oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. It just, I, I try to hit the button while they're... Here we go, now is there more to it? Is there a second stage or is this about it? Maybe you are supposed to fight him and then... Or, you know, get through and then fight him. And I just like try to do it one day. Oh yeah, you totally can. He's like right here. Yeah, see, so you can, uh, before you wake him up, you can go and you can grab a whole bunch of yellows. And you can give him all bomb rocks and you can send him in there and have him eat them. But uh, that's really time consuming. I was considering doing it just because it's more fun, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm really digging the idea of potentially doing this today. I really, really doubt it. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Maybe it's not a day to get through and then a day to beat him and then a day to bring it back. Maybe I can just never, you know, get through and beat him in time. That's probably what I was thinking of. He's pretty tough. He's, I'm, go I'm gonna lose a lot of Pikmin. <laughs> And if I'm going at this the way I'm uh, kind of planning on going about it, I think I might need to, like, fight him and then go back for more. And unfortunately in this one, you know, I think three is the one that introduced, uh, that introduced boss, where when you fight a boss and you bring their health down, you can, uh, you know, they'll keep their damage. Which is really nice. I mean, they should have done that in two. Yeah, because I've only got a half a day to beat this guy. But, uh... We'll see. I wish more of them were whatever. Okay, we'll see. Wish there were more flowers, but there he is. He's a big guy. Oh my gosh, he's always way bigger than I remember. And he eats them all. Oh goodness. Uh, hi hey guy. Throw him his jowls. He squishes him. Very nice. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, you gotta watch them. Already lost <laughs> a pretty big amount of my stuff. Knocks him off. You gotta call him back. I put a chunk on him already. Unfortunately, it's all my, like, flowers. Yes, yeah, you're right there. He gulps. So if those are yellows. All right, system. Throw a few. He knocks them off. Ugh, the keep turning around is like frustrating now. I'm gonna beat you, guy. I'm gonna beat you today gonna be the first time I've ever done it. Oh, I called you, I called you, no! Come back! I 
At this rate, I probably could, but he starts getting harder and doing weirder moves. Like, jumping around all the time and stuff. Yep, I already lost half of my dudes. That's alright. He's so, dis so disgusting. I'm doing all right, though. Sorry, I'm, I'm like not even talking. I'm like, I'm just like super into this. If I knew he wasn't about to start switching up his strategy, I'd say I had a chance. Oops, my bad. He's gonna do it right now. Oh, he didn't. Here we go. Oh, no? Yep, there it is. Whoa! Please don't do that again. Dude. I'm getting this guy. I'm getting this guy. I'm getting this guy today. Yes! Oh, yes! Get it! I don't even care if I don't get his body, man. I mean, it makes me pretty sad, but at long last, I find the final part, my secret safe, and it's as full as ever. How glad I am that I persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop and pick up some souvenirs for my wife and kids back on planet Hakatate. So, just to be clear, Olimar did go risk his life to get his piggy bank. He fought the biggest, nastiest guy in the entire game and risked his entire life. Oh, no! I need 40! Oh, no! Oh, no. I am not going to lose this just because I don't have enough dudes to carry the thing. You know what? Remembering now, that's happened to me before. I'm just I'm just thinking about it, and I'm... I'm almost certain that at least one time this exact thing has happened and I was super proud of myself for getting it and uh, And I just didn't have enough to carry it. I'm bringing a ton Come on guys. Oh gosh. Oh, I don't think I can do it. Of course I can do it As long as I don't send them all into the water first Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, we've almost, we've got one and a half doodlies left. One and a half doodlies on the clock. I'm, I'm throwing Pikmin all over the place. I thought he had a body. Oh man, we're doing this. This is happening. This is the first time, this is happening. If only I had whites, like in Pikmin 2. This is happening, I'm gonna do it. Look at this, I did it. One day. Oh man, this is this is excellent. I've played this game so many times that I don't know if I've ever done this in one day. Again, probably because I was just I, I was not meticulous. I didn't lay out all. I spend an entire day laying out <laughs> yellows with bomb rocks and cokes that I'm into eating them, and I just went for it. And I lost like 75 Pikmin, but I did it. Oh, I did it! I'm so glad you guys could be here for this. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not taking three days like my incorrect memory. Oh, uh, that's great. We did it. We did it, folks. You and me together. I could only do it with your spirit. That's why. The spirit of you watching me. It helped me like a like a spirit bomb. Like a Dragon Ball Z, you guys. You did it. I finally recovered every ship part. Now I can return home to Hakatate. Or Hakotate, maybe? Not sure. Yep, that's a ship right there. Bam. 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 It's a shiny ship. I did it. Oh, I feel so good right now. One day. I got the good ending. Have you ever gotten the good ending? I'm sure you have. You're, you're, you're good at games. You're a good player. 
I believe in you. Doesn't want to leave this Pikmin behind. I wouldn't either. They're adorable. Look at him. How can you leave? You bring some back with you on your ship. I mean, they don't even eat. They don't eat. They don't seem to go to the bathroom. They do everything you want. They carry furniture around. They're the perfect pet. Bodyguards. Man. Take some Pikmin as pets. They eat literally anything. <laughs> if it was once alive. I taught them how to be independent. It's so beautiful. So happy for them. Although it's kind of terrifying. It's like if I could teach them that, then they would, they would overrun the entire world. I mean, clearly. With somebody, <laughs> with somebody commanding them, they could take over the whole world. But now. So there's different colors in there, right? I'm pretty sure it's different, like, suggesting there's other colors of Pikmin or something. I'm never very good with color, and right now it's kind of hard to see. Yep, that's a good ending. I, uh, I've only seen a bad ending once. I had to get it on purpose. I had to sit there and skip to the next day over and over again. And it's, uh, pretty weird. I'll, I'll let you check that out or go see it on YouTube or something. Funny thing about YouTube is you don't really have to beat anything anymore. You just <laughs> it's like oh, I'm at 98% of items. Uh, I'll just go on YouTube. But medium ending is kind of just like this, but with a little bit less. I, I don't know. This is the only real ending. You gotta get all 30 parts. You gotta. There's no reason not to. Oh, I don't want to see this. 17. Okay, maybe. My usual is 18, and I did it in 17. I don't know. Maybe my usual is 17. It's certainly not nine. That's uh, we have a uh, we have established that it is not nine. I lost about a quarter of my entire sprouted forces. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> Total Pikmin ever sprouted 4,129. I'm assuming that's on this memory card. I'm in first place. Part. Oh, hey, look. I got some other. Although I don't know if these are my. This might be someone else's memory card, like a friend's or something. Because I don't. Okay, 18 days. That was probably me. It's probably because it usually takes me two. I probably do like the same exact amount of days every time I play. I don't know, but... Anyway. Only second place with Pikmin lost. Are you kidding? Wow. Whoever played that other one, they... They stink. <laughs> Nova Blaster, Space Float, Massage Machine, UV Lamp, and Secret Safe. Those are the unnecessary ones. I will never remember. I will only ever remember Secret Safe. But, uh, whatever. Yes, I would like to save. Oh, it's not over yet, though. We get the uh, fun little credits with all the little bad guys. Nintendo usually knows how to end a game pretty good. Oh, yeah. Staff credits first, though. I guess we'll stick around. I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I got nowhere to be. Oh, Shiggy. That was, uh... That was big. When Pikmin came out, and it was just like, this isn't Mario, this isn't anything else, you know, this isn't anything from the N64 or anything, this is something completely new, and it was just like, what? like, really new, like, all the way new, you know? And it was like, kind of like an RTS, but kind of different enough. Pretty neato. And I remember just being immediately just like, yes, this is great. Yeah, I went over to a friend's house, and I hadn't played, I, like bought it at Walmart like on my way over it was it was out of town I had to drive there and then uh, yeah popped it in it was just like yes like that just the smell of their house still just makes me think of Pikmin because <laughs> I remember the first time playing it it's good stuff it's a really short game I was about five hours but uh Bill Trin and Leslie Swan I always recognize them whole life but it's a good one Five hours for a fifty-dollar game. <laughs> they definitely improve in the uh, in the other titles. But uh, yeah, man, I love that game. It's a really good game. I'm a big, huge Pikmin fan, and they only get better after this. That's what I love about it. Well, okay, there's a lot of parts about two that are better, and then parts about three that are better, but then worse than two. But for the most part, you know, this is definitely 
a lot of people, I could like, man, I could make whole videos about this, but a lot of people seem to think that this is the best one because of the day like limit. Like a lot of people, like I like two way more and a lot of people are like, no, it's too easy because you have unlimited days. And I'm like, dude, this is easy. <laughs> yeah, there's a day limit. That doesn't make any difference though. I don't know. I love two though. There's so much about two that I love. But I like this one. It's nice. I can play it pretty much unlimited times. Let me get to see all the names of the guys and see the guy really stink at fighting them. Armored Cannon Beetle. This migrant lithopod has developed a stronger carapace than its relatives. Stronger than the regular Cannon Beetles? Because there aren't any Cannon Beetles in this game. They're only in two. That is cool about these games, you know? It's like two and three. They like they expand on the, uh, the what is it? The, I don't know. Just the, the animal kingdom, you know? It's like, oh, this is related to that. And this is a version of that that's this. And this is a young version of this. So it's fun. There's like huge bread bugs in two. I love it. Different kinds of snagrits, or at least one different kind. Yeah, this is, wow. Three of them. The bluish hue of its feathers distinguishes it from the burrowing snarrow. See, what is a burrowing snarrow? Never seen one of those. <laughs> but apparently he's spent a lot more time here than we give him credit for. Maybe he comes back. It has many mysteries. It's a dwarf bull bear? Yes. Bull bear at an early stage of development in its life cycle. The specimen appears to be nearly fully developed. Yep, just tiny. Dwarf bull borb, which is not actually related to the bull borb. Little known fact. <laughs> yeah, it's like they they just imitate them or something. That was weird. I don't know why they... Here he is, Emperor Bull Blacks. I wouldn't fight him with that many guys, but that's just me. Grub Dog. That's my, that's my country band name. Fiery Blowhog. This creature expels a combustible phosphor that ignites at moderate temperatures. Oh, the Snitch Bug. I greatly dislike that guy. Swooping snitch bug. It's a rare species uses its antennae as wings. What is rare about it? Man, they spawn all the time. There's the guy. Yeah, never seen him in that level. I don't know if that exists, but that's... Gulix. He shows up in the first level sometimes. Sounds like a Pokemon. There's no parts in the game where they're all like that. I don't know why it's like that here. Honey Wisp. This creature collects nectar for the larvae waiting in its nest. Iridescent flint beetle. I hate you. I hate you so much. Ooh, go get that screw. This forager stores undigested pellets in its stomach for winter. It's always winter here in this spot. There he is, Mamuta. Never seen him there, though. They mix all these up. That's what I'm saying about, like, a level editor. I would love to be able to take any enemy and put it anywhere. And just make my own levels and just put parts or fruit or treasure or whatever it is. That's not even a creature. Pellet Posey. This sparsely growing plant is able to crystallize nectar into round pellets that weirdly enough have <laughs> numbers on them. Don't let, don't let it, oh. And it considers walking fungus a delicacy. Yeah, this obviously takes place way after, like after people have come back. Start eating the stuff here. Puffy blowhog. Ugh. Instead of breathing fire, this species uses its hydrogen to float. It is somehow worse. <laughs> oh, not that one. Oh man, that one fiery blowhog really, uh, he really gave it to me. And then there's the sheer wig. Yeah. Males of the species are able to fly, but the females remain underground. Ah! Yeah, I didn't even see that guy for a long time. I must have never gotten to that point. I would always see it here and be like, what? 
Okay, so apparently the video cut out uh, <laughs> before the creature roll was quite finished. Um, it's it's unfortunate, you know. I, I did this, I did this whole huge heartfelt goodbye and thank you and everything, but uh, unfortunately it uh, it has sadly been lost. Uh, but basically, all I said was thanks so much for watching. I really enjoyed this. Um, let me know down in the comments, you know, of anything or on any page you want, uh, what you'd like to see next. You know, I got a, I got a good amount of games, Wii games, GameCube games. Uh, I mean, I, I'd like to do some Xbox 360 games, PC. I won't necessarily have the, every game, you know, that you suggest, but just let me know what type of thing you'd like to see. Like, what you liked, what you didn't like, and, uh, you know, just uh, getting feedback at this point, you know. Uh, hit me up on Twitter at Arlo Stuff or on Facebook at... Facebook.com slash Arlo stuff and keep in touch. Don't be a stranger, you know, come around sometime. We'll, uh, we'll do, we'll do lunch. So, uh, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you later. <laughs>